we've made a decision. Our MasterChef Champion 2020 is... Thomas. Thank you. Thank you so much. What? Thank you. So let's chat to Thomas right now in South London. Morning to you, Thomas. I tell you what, congratulations, number one. Number two, those judges know how to drag out a pause, <laughs> don't they? That moment, what's that like? Yeah, I, do you know what? Good morning and uh, thanks. Um, do you know, last night was absolutely insane and intense. And, you know, just watching it back then sort of brought some of the emotion back from it. It's um, it's a very intense moment. Um, you know, it feels like a long pause on, on, on TV, but I tell you what, in real life, it's, it's it feels much longer when you stood there waiting to find out who the champion is. You've known since December, haven't you? So you've had to keep this a secret morning. Yes, it's been um, it's been a huge secret to keep, and literally every single one of my um, friends and family have asked. Um, and um, it, it's yeah, it's it's hard to keep it, but you have to just put it to the back of your mind, and you know, wait for it to be revealed live on TV for it for so it actually to become real. So yeah, it's been four months of um, trying to keep the big secret, but so um, just about managed it. I nearly slipped up just before the uh, the show went last night. Um, on text message my family but managed to save it just at the last minute and, and uh, imply that you know all three of us would be doing sort of interviews and stuff so yeah it's um, a big secret to keep do you know what it's interesting isn't it it's almost like um, the physical distancing and the new measures now that we're under probably made it a little bit easier for you to keep the secret because i don't know <laughs> how you could keep the smile off your face when anyone asked you that's very true. Um, I haven't seen my family or friends now, you know, for well, my family going on two or three months. So, um, yeah, that's that made it a lot easier. You're right. But um, they're still they were still texting, still calling. And it, and it just comes up in conversation, really, when you when you're talking about, you know, the episode that's been on or or, you know, they're, they're bringing up saying that they've just watched it. It's then when they're like, so you're going to tell us how far you got. And, you know, and I'm just like, you just have to keep watching. And um, that's the stock phrase that you just have to keep in the back of your mind and, 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 and giving to friends and families. Look, tune in tomorrow and find out what, what happens. Thomas, I, one of the funny things about doing these interviews with people in their homes is we all get the opportunity to have a little nose. So I'm looking behind you, and I'm looking at quite a few cookbooks, very appropriate, And but what's worrying me, I'm seeing, what, two bottles of champagne that appear to be unopened. <laughs> so uh, surely, if not last night, what are you waiting for? Um, well, do you know what? I was I, I was due to have quite a big sort of get together and celebration uh, with, with family and friends, um, but obviously because of the, the lockdown, it's just not been possible. So um, it was quite a, um, a, a quiet affair with um, just me and um, my girlfriend. But um, I mean, we uh, did crack open a bottle of champagne um, to celebrate, and um, they're, they're the two that's left for the for the party once the lockdown's over. Very good. I'm pleased to hear it. So, in these very unusual times, and very, very difficult times for so many people at the moment, with your new title of MasterChef Champion, uh, do you want to give out your first bit of culinary advice uh, to people? Uh, you know, just about... Uh, I don't know about you, but I think people are thinking about food quite a lot, you know, because we need things to think about. And, and what, what, so, you've got any tips for people? Um... Yes, I mean it's been a complete learning curve for me. I, I'm used to sort of popping into the shop on the way home from work and buying fresh produce and, uh, and cooking what I fancy that night. And you just can't do that. You know, I'm doing a shop probably once a week, or if not every two weeks. Um, so the, the, the main bit of advice I've got is just plan and prep and, and think about in, in advance what you want for dinner, what you want for lunch, and try and work out how you know you can use the leftovers and and. and you know, make more of a meal out of your ingredients than, than just the one. Um, it's made me a lot more conscious about sort of food waste and, and how I can reuse stuff. Um, you know, I had a, a roast dinner 
dinner on, on last Sunday where I had some cabbage left over and then turn that into a, a slaw to have with some fried chicken. So it's um, I think if you can think ahead and, uh, and think about, you know, a little bit of planning and preparation, have a dig around as well. Have a look what's in the cupboards, what spices you've got in jars lying around. And then you can start to have a bit of fun and, and think about what dishes you might want to eat. You know, I'm really pleased, Thomas, that our microphones, they're good, but they're not as good as, they're not good enough to pick up the fact that my stomach is actually rumbling, and it usually does <laughs> at this point in the morning on a Saturday morning. So what is on the menu today? What, what are you going to be cooking today? Because I, I, I don't think you can ever think about food too early in the day anyway, so you must have had a, a little think about this evening's meal. Um, I have, and um, on the menu today I'm actually doing the um, scampi that I did in the finals, um, oh. albeit with, with cod, not monkfish. Um, but yeah, I'm doing I'm doing the scampi and, and the, uh, the the fennel pickle and the tartar. Um, that's probably going to be my sort of lunchtime snack for today. As for dinner, I haven't really got around to thinking about that. Um, we, we we stocked up on 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 the alcohol for the celebration rather than the uh, the food for the, the dinner the day after. So um, yes, um, lunch is sorted. I have to have a little think about dinner. No one's judging you at all for how much alcohol you stock up on. Um, so fancy lunch as well. I mean, I, th I think there's a standard in your household of, you know, not ordinary dinners. Um, do you know what? Day to day it is. It's very much, you know, meat and fish and, uh, and two veg. Um, but... Uh, the reason why I actually was, was doing the, the scampi is because I've been kind of reliving all the dishes that I did throughout the competition and, and, and you know, staging them and photographing them for social media and, and stuff. So that's the reason why the, the scampi is on the menu for lunch. Um, but, you know, day to day, it's very much, you know, grilled salmon or, you know, grilled mackerel, some asparagus or, you know, whatever kind of takes out the fancy on the day. Well, it's lovely talking about the food. Thomas, the reality check that we all have to bear in mind at the moment, and this is very relevant for you now, isn't it? I mean, I don't know what you're... You didn't know you were going to win, but you have won. And you might have been thinking, you know, the restaurant business, you know, to go to, to find work doing that. And clearly at the moment, uh, th you know, it's a very difficult time. Yes, it's, um, do you know, what? it's actually a real shame what's happened, obviously, to the restaurant and hospitality industry because of the lockdown. And it's definitely had, you know, an effect on my potential plans, at least in, in the short term. Um, you know, I'm very much a realist. I would always, and, and up to this point, you know, despite being my champion, consider myself a home cook. I'm, I'm not a professional chef. Um, so to even think about opening a, a restaurant or a gastro pub in the future, you know, I think to myself, I, I need some, some training and some, uh, some mentorship and at least, you know, perhaps go and work in a professional kitchen. But at the moment, that's just not possible. And I think even after the lockdown, to be fair to the industry, you know, the amazing chefs that are out there doing this professionally, they're going to have to bring their own teams back up to speed and, and get customers back into their restaurants. So I think it's going to be a few months yet um, before I can really start to think about a, a, a career change or changing direction. Um, but for the moment, I'll still very, be very, still much working in, in finance. It's been lovely talking to you, Thomas. We, we congratulate you. Th thank you very much and uh, enjoy your day. I'm sure you will. Looking forward to that food. Enjoy the champagne says, yeah. as well when you get there. <laughs> okay. Enjoy the champagne. A lovely man. Really, really, really nice. lovely. Uh